Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome back to Sunday School for Primary Pals and Answer Girls. I hope you had a wonderful blessed week so far. And for some of us who are back to school, I hope you are coping well. Before we go to our different classes, let us sit back and enjoy some singing from some of our friends. But before all that, let us put our hands together and close our eyes and pray. Father God, we want to thank you for today. We want to thank you for the teachers who are going to teach us the lesson. Help us to listen and to understand it and to keep it in our hearts. Father God, make us good boys and good girls. For we pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Now, let's see what some of our friends and teachers have prepared for us today. Happy listening and God bless you. Today we're going to be singing Peace Like a River. One, two, three, go. I got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got peace like a river. I got peace like a river. I've got peace like a river in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean, I've got love like an ocean in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, i got joy like a fountain in my soul. I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain, I've got joy like a fountain in my soul. Light of mine, I'm gonna let you shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let you shine. This little light of mine, I'm gonna let you shine. Let it shine, let it shine, let it shine. I get on the bush, no. Good morning, children. Welcome to Sunday School. Today we are learning about God chooses David. That's our topic for today. God chooses David. We have so many verses to read. 
but I'm just going to read 1 Samuel 16, verse 7 and verse 12. Verse 7 reads, But the Lord said unto Samuel, Look not on his countenance or on the height of his stature, because I have refused him. For the Lord seeth not as man seeth. For man looketh on the outward appearance, but the Lord looketh on the heart. And verse 12, I'll read where it says, Arise, anoint him, for this is he. Thank you. Today we have a wonderful lesson. Just look at this. A mirror. Can you see me? Can you see two of me? I can see myself. Wow, I can see my jacket, I can see my buttons, I can see my glasses. There's something else I want to see, you know. I want to see my heart as well. Let me see. Oh, can someone help me? I'm trying to see my heart. How my heart is. I can't see it. Oh, I know. The mirror cannot see what's inside. It can only see what's outside. That's the way we see as well. Human beings like me or you or any other person, we can't see the heart. But God sees the heart. I'm going to show you how he does it. You know what I have? Rainbow cake. Who doesn't like rainbow cake? I like it. Let's see. <gasps> Rubbish. Oh, no. Let me get something else. <gasps> Fabulous biscuits. Nice biscuits. Yeah. <gasps> Not again. There are no biscuits in there. You see what I've just shown you? This is how God looks at people. God doesn't just look at the outside and be happy and say, Oh, yeah, yeah, she's a nice girl or a nice boy. God looks inside to see whether that which is outside is also inside. So you see why we have to be very, very careful, boys and girls? We have to be very careful what we do because God can see us. He can see what we think. He can see what is in our hearts. This takes us to the story for today. God was looking for a man to be a new king because the king who was there before, he wasn't a good king anymore. He was not doing good things. So God was looking for somebody who had a pure heart, a clean heart, with no debt. So, he sent the prophet Samuel to Bethlehem to the house of Jesse. So, Samuel took his horn full of oil, special oil, because he was supposed to pour the oil on the head of the new king. When he got to Jesse's house, Jesse had seven sons who were at home. So Samuel, when he saw the first one, he said, yes, I think surely this is one of the sons whom God wants to be king. But God said, no. Number two son, Samuel said, yes, but God said, no. Number three, Samuel said yes, but God said no. Number four, God said no. Number five, God said no. Number six, God said no. Number seven, God still said no. And then Samuel said, Jesse, are these all the sons? And he, and he said, no, there's one more, one small boy, David. Wow, David was busy taking care of the sheep. 
He was enjoying his job. He was a very good boy. His heart was very good, very clean. I'll show you what a clean heart looks like. There was nothing bad on David's heart. He had a nice heart. He was a good boy. That's why God chose him to be king. So when David came, God said, yes, Samuel, this is him. Anoint him. So immediately Samuel poured the oil on his head to show that God himself had chosen him to be king. God chose David to be the king because of his nice heart. Because God could see that this boy David is not a naughty boy. He doesn't fight with people. He doesn't tell lies. He doesn't do all those bad things. We too, do you know, God can choose us to do special things? Yes. God can choose us. It might not be to be a king. It might be to sing for him or to tell people about him or to do some special things for him. But what he's looking at, he's not looking at your size. He's not looking at your muscles. He's not even looking at your age. All he wants is a clean heart because God sees the heart. He doesn't want a heart like this. Can you see all the bad stuff in there? Naughtiness, not listening to mommy, not listening to daddy, or fighting, taking things that are not yours. All these things makes the heart dirty and God doesn't like it. When he see things like this, he doesn't choose you for anything. He will leave you. So we want to be good boys and good girls because God sees the heart. I'm going to give you an activity for, uh, for the, that you can do at home. Two to five, I want you to make a nicer heart. A very nice heart. And then when you look at it, I want you to say a prayer. You can ask mommy and daddy or an, an adult to help you make a heart and say, Jesus, I want my heart to be clean. When you make it and then you can stick it in your bedroom. And then six to eight, I want you to make the same nice heart, but I want you to write. You know, if you can't write, ask someone to help you to write all the good things that you think made God to choose David. What is it that God saw in David's heart that he chose him to be the king? So that's the end of our lesson. Thank you for listening. For next week, we are going to learn about My God is Stronger, which is lesson 26b. God bless you. We just want to say a short prayer. Lord Jesus, help all the little boys and the little girls to have clean hearts so that when you look at them, you can be happy with them and use them. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Pride goeth before destruction and a haughty spirit before a fall. Proverbs chapter 16 Verses 18. Good morning, boys and girls. Welcome to Answer Class. I'm sure we're all happy to be at Sunday School today. We are studying Lesson 005, titled The First Sky Scraper. And our Bible text is taken from Genesis chapter 11, verses 1 to 9. And First Corinthians chapter three verses nine to fifteen, but we are only going to read a few verses. Let's open to Genesis eleven. I'll start reading from verse one. And the whole earth was one language and one speech. Now four. And they said, Go to let us build us a city and a tower whose top may reach unto heaven. And let us make us a name, lest we be scattered abroad upon the face of the earth. Now verse 7. 
Go to, let us go down and there confirm their language that they may not understand one another's speech. Let's close our Bible and put it aside. Boss and guess, guess what we want to do? We are making cupcakes. That's my bowl. That is my eggs. That is the sugar. I've got my flour here. And I've got my margarine. So let's see. This is my recipe book. Let's see what the recipe book says. It says butter, 125 gram. I think 75 is enough. This is too much. Um, sugar, it says 165. I think I just make it 75. That's too much as well. And uh, flour, 185. That's way too much. No, no, no. Eggs should be okay. And the eggs, it said two eggs. We are using one. Yes, I think I'm fed up of all these recipe books. I won't be following them anymore. After all, I've made lots of cake before. It's beautiful. Can you see them? They're very beautiful. And they love it. I think I'm, I know what to do. I'm going to be writing my recipe book. It will go around the whole world. I become famous and people will love it. That's what I'm going to do. This is completely nonsense. I'm not going to follow it. Children, what do you think about what I've just said? That is pride. And God does not like it. God doesn't want us to be proud. Obviously, if I do not follow the recipe book, whatever it says in the book, if I do not follow, the cake will not come out right, and it will not taste good. So may God help us to follow instruction. May we do things God's way. Help us to do things His way. Also, if our teacher tells us to do things at school, if we will not follow the instruction of our teacher to read that book, at the end of our at the end of the year, we will not be able to pass our exam. So we pray that the Almighty God will help us to follow instruction and remove pride from our heart. Amen. In our story lesson of today, we learned about Oi and Carter. Oi was very proud and arrogant. He thought he found a better route to school and a quicker way. Guess what happened, children? They nearly got knocked down by the upcoming car in front of them because it was one it was one way. This is what happened. Why would you do things the right way? Carter went back. Oi continued with the journey because of his arrogance and pride. And guess what happened to him? He had a serious accident and ended up at the hospital. And when we do not do things the right way, this is what happened. There's always a repercussion for any action we take. May God help us. If we do not do things, the way God wants us to do things, follow his instruction, he will not be happy with us. All the blessing he has for us, we will not be able to have them. And we will be able to go to heaven with him. Also our teacher, whatever they ask us to do at school, read our book and do our homework. If we do not do them, we will not pass at the end of the year, we will not be happy. May God help us children to do things God's way. Also in our uh, uh, Bible text of today, we learn about a group of people who planned to build a tower that will reach heaven. And because they speak one language and they understood each other more. Let's see the example of the tower they planned to build. This is Burj Khalifa. It's in Dubai. It's one of the tallest towers in the whole world. Let's find out more in our question about what God did to the people and what happened. Question number one, who did the people consult with when they planned to build the city and the tower? They did not consult with anyone, not even with God. They knew he would not have allowed them. God has blessed them and told them to be fruitful and multiply and spread all over the face of the earth. But they disobey him and not follow his instruction. Children, may God help us to follow instruction and not disobey God. And whatever they ask us to do, may we follow and God will bless us. Amen. Question number two. What are the reasons why the men of Babel decided to build the tower that will reach heaven? They want to make a name for themselves to be like God. They want to be, be uh, to be uh, they want to be prevented from being spread all over the uh, face of the earth. And third, they want protection. Who can protect us, children? It's only God. 
for us, God wants us to be like him, but when we disobey him, we cannot be like him. He doesn't want us to be like the celebrity of the people of the world. He wants us to pattern our life after him. He's the best celebrity we can be like. So may God help us to be what he wants us to be and do things that he wants us to do. When we do this, God will be happy with us and he will bless us and he will take us to heaven. And for us to do this, we need to be saved. We need to pray and ask God to come to our heart, save our soul. When he save our soul, he can give us the power to be obedient to him, not to be not to have pride, not to be like Oi and the people of Babel in our story lesson of today. Amen. Now question number three. How did God respond to the action of the people of Babel? God responded and confused their language. For example, nowadays we can say simple hello in many languages. And let's see this in the video clip. <laughs> Hello. Bonjour. Shalom. Josan. Ahlan. Namaste. Namaskaram. Salam. Sasrigal. Oi. Chest. Good day. Hello. Tung. Namaskara. Vanakam. Aquaba. Namaste. Hola. Yasas. Bauni. Mi andar ki namaskara lu. Pok. Ciao. Salam. Ni hao. Namaste. Privet. Hi, how are you? This happened because of the disobedience of people of Babel to God's instruction. This is what happened. There's always a consequence and punishment when we do things wrong. When we don't follow the instruction, we don't do things the right way. May God help us to follow God and do Follow instruction and do things his way. When we do this, he will bless us and at the end take us to heaven. Amen. Our this week activity is I want you to pretend you live long ago when the people decided to build the Tower of Babel. You need to write a letter to them what you think about the, the idea of building the tower. And let them know the true and the, the true way they can be happy. The true and the only way they can be happy. In writing your letter, I want you to start with Dear People of Babel. And once you have finished, you put yours sincerely. And you put your name at the bottom. Make sure you show it to mom and dad to look at it to make sure it is okay. Our Next week lesson is lesson 006, titled God's Promise to Abraham. Remember our key verse for today's lesson, children, let's do things God's way. When we do things God's way, God will be happy with us, we will be happy, and he can take us to heaven at last. Amen. Now, let's put our hands together and pray. Let's close our eyes. Father Lord Jesus, we thank you for today. Thank you for your love. Plant your love in our heart, O oh Lord. Take pride and arrogance and disobedience from our heart, O oh Lord Jesus. Help us to obey you. We don't want to be like uh, Oi and the people of Babel. Save our soul, Lord Jesus, so that we can be obedient to you. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen. Now, children, uh, primary part, you need to pray for Jesus to come into your heart. Remember, he sees your heart. And you want God to find good things in your heart when they look down and look at your heart. Also, answer, you need Jesus to save your soul so that he can remove pride and disobedience from your heart. And you can, he can save your soul and you can be obedient to him. Amen. That will be the end of our lesson. Children, bye-bye. See you next week. <music>